We know that lymphocytes are white blood cells whose job is to recirculate through blood and tissues looking for their antigen. That are the molecular patterns found on foreign pathogen, and it differs from that of those already found in the body. Let's look at their origin. Like all other blood cells, lymphocytes are bone marrow-derived cells and are produced originally from a pluripotential stem cells, also known as hematopoietic stem cells, HSCs. These stem cells are defined by two capacities. First, the ability to regenerate or self-renewal. And second, the ability to differentiate into diverse cell types. So the HSCs are the specific stem cells in the bone marrow that ultimately give rise all type of blood cells. Under conditions when the immune system is not being challenged by a pathogen that is steady state or homeostatic conditions, most HSCs are quiescent, only a small number divide, generating daughter cells. On the other hand, when there is an increased demand for hematopoiesis, for example, during an infection or after chemotherapy, HSCs display an enormous proliferative capacity. HSCs then makes one of the two lineage commitment choices. Either they become myeloid progenitor cells or lymphoid progenitor cells. Myeloid progenitor cells then give rise to red blood cells, platelets, and other myeloid cells, including granulocytes, monocytes, macrophages, and some dendritic cells populations. While lymphoid progenitor cells give rise to B lymphocytes and T lymphocytes, and natural killer cells. We know that B and T lymphocytes are members of the adaptive immune system and generate a refined antigen-specific immune response, and they also gives rise to immune memory. Here, our concern is B lymphocytes development only. So here, lymphoid progenitor cells then undergo differentiation and gets converted into progenitor B cell. The differentiation of B lymphocytes in the bone marrow can be explained by looking at the expression of different molecules by the developing B cell. One of the first signs that a cell is committed to the B cell lineage is the expression of a surface protein known as CD19. The cell at this stage is called pro-B cell. The cell then further differentiate and expresses the IgM HeV chain that is the mu chain in its cytoplasm and is now known as a pre-B cell. In the next stage, B cell expresses IgM on its surface and is known as an immature B cell. Finally, the cell becomes a mature B cell expressing both AgM and IgD on its surface. Now this mature B cell leaves the bone marrow and enters the bloodstream. It is during this development process that unique molecular mechanisms operate on the Ig genes to generate large numbers of different variations of the immunoglobulin, which recognize different antigens. At the level of pro-B cell, heavy chain rearrangement takes place, and it converts to pre-B cell. Then at this stage, light chain rearrangement takes place, and it gets converted to immature B cell. So this was all about development of B lymphocytes. During this development, two types of gene rearrangements occurs, one in heavy chain and another in light chain. Well to understand in depth about these recombinations and how they lead to diversification, let's briefly revise antibody structure in our next section.